everyone. Welcome to the Simmons Bank Arena in Little Rock, Arkansas. I'm Scott Jordan alongside Keaton Stewart and Freddie B as Arena Championship Series East gets ready for the racing bracket. In round one, it'll be Grave Digger against Wildside, Hooked against Terminal Velocity, Stone Crusher against Dragon, and Whiplash against El Toro Loco. The winners of these round one matchups will advance to the semifinal round. The first eight points of the event are up for grabs as someone will take the driver's seat in pursuit of the event championship. Our first round one matchup, Zach Garner in Wildside joining this series from the Central. He will go up against the current series points leader, Weston Anderson in Gravedigger. And we are off and running here, the racing competition, roundy round racing in arena. So precision and skill take center stage. To the finish line they go, photo finish. But it is Zach Garner by an inch advancing to round number two. Up next, John Zimmer Jr. in Terminal Velocity, also joining from the Central. He will go up against longtime Monster Jam veteran Shane Freed in Hooked. And Zimmer Jr. gets to the finish line first at the halfway point. So now around again they go. And on the other side to the finish line again, John Zimmer Jr. getting the win. And Terminal Velocity advancing to the semifinals. Next up, one of the best pure racers in the sport, Cody Saucier in Dragon. He goes up against Chad Tingler in Stone Crusher. Great jump by Dragon, tight to the turn box. And now into the final turn, Cody Saucier gets the push and Dragon gets the win. So Dragon advances to the second round, which here in the Arena Series is also the semifinal round. Up next in the first round, Armando Castro, El Toro Loco, up against the Princess of Carnage, Brianna Mahan in Whiplash. Both great angles on the turn. Whiplash with the lead at the halfway point. And into the final turn, El Toro Loco putting on the Jets and gets the win. So Armando Castro comes from behind, takes the win, and El Toro Loco advances as we take a look at the semifinal bracket. It'll be wild side and terminal velocity in one matchup, and Dragon against El Toro Loco in the second. The winners advance to the final round. Here's a matchup of teammates for Team Overboard out of Fortville, Indiana. Overboard Motorsports being represented by Zach Gardner in wild side and John Zimmer Jr. in terminal velocity, and we are off and running. And Wildside with a slight advantage. John Zimmer Jr. though takes a great corner, but it's Wildside getting the win. So Zach Garner running through the bracket, and he will advance to the final round. Next up here are the semis, Cody Saucier in Dragon against Armando Castro and El Toro Loco. And nobody on this series has more racing wins than Cody Saucier. Can he make it happen here into the first half we go? And a final turn, Castro having some issues, and Saucier takes advantage. So Cody Saucier gets dragged into the final round. As we take one more look at the bracket, the final round path, Wildside getting through Gravedigger and Terminal Velocity, Dragon taking out Stone Crusher and El Toro Loco. So our final matchup to determine the first eight points of the night. It's going to be Zach Garner in Wildside, and he will go up against Cody Saucier in Dragon. We got a green light, and we are off in the racing finals. And at the halfway point, Dragon with the lead. Can Zach Garner make up time? We go to the finish, and it is Wildside getting the win. That final turn, incredible. Zach Garner, as you take a look at the replay, looked like he was done. Comes around the final turn, takes it tight to the turning box, and gets the win. So Zach Garner, wild side, gets the first eight points of the night, and he is on the track with our own Keaton Stewart. Keaton. Zach, you battled out your teammates and then a fierce competitor like Cody Saucier in Dragon, but it was nothing for you. How do you feel taking that win? I feel absolutely amazing being able to come out here. This is my second time back here in Little Rock. I was here in 2020, picked up some racing wins then. But coming back out here now with even stiffer competition, it's absolutely crazy. Now you've scored those first eight points of the night, but we've got the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge coming up next. What can your fans expect from you there? It all depends how loud and crazy you Little Rock fans get. So let's hear it, Little Rock. Are you guys ready for some Two Wheel Skills? 
Thank you, Keaton. Let's go ahead and take a look at the BKT overall point standings after one competition. Zach Garner, as I mentioned, getting eight points. Cody Saucier with seven. John Zimmer Jr., Armando Castro with four apiece. And Chad Tingler, Weston Anderson, Shane Freed, and Brianna Mahan all grabbing two. Next up's the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge. Each driver gets two attempts at their best maneuver on two wheels. The fans here in attendance will judge based on creativity, skill, and execution. And Shane Freed gets things started in hook with the Sky Wheelie onto the pot. Second attempt tries again, gets the truck at a 45 degree angle, and then tries for a stoppy 3.774 for Hooked. Next up, Chad Tingler and Stone Crusher trying for a reverse stoppy. Comes off the pod, doesn't get the front two tires up high enough. And then second attempt, single log jump here. Great Sky Wheelie gets a nice bounce. And then another wheelie on the backside. So 4.906, your new leader, Chad Tingler in Stone Crusher. Next up, Rihanna Mahad in Whiplash. She is a veteran at the Sky Wheelie. She goes for one right here. And look at the truck, sticks it right on the back wheelie bar. And she is going to go over here, but she's going to try to save it and just doesn't have enough room. Spectacular ending to her Great Clips 2 Wheel Skills Challenge attempt. Take a look at the replay. Beautiful Sky Wheelie crushes the backside of that truck. 8.838. Your new leader is Brianna Mahad in Whiplash. Just not enough room there for the truck to get saved. Didn't have enough traction on the tires. And now we move to John Zimmer Jr. Terminal velocity going for a bicycle. These are incredibly difficult on the small arena tracks. He gets it and spins it around. And then second attempt, maybe trying for a popper. Doesn't like where he's at. So he's now going to edge the truck out to the lip of the pod and come back down. Trying for a stoppy attempt there. 6.084. Whiplash still has the lead. Now Weston Anderson and Grave Digger so skilled at this comes off the pod into a stoppy right into a moonwalk. Can he get it up onto the pod though? Edges it right at the lip. He's got it and now moves it all the way back across and a stoppy off the pod. So a great combo move for Weston Anderson and Grave Digger. Second attempt here comes off again with a stoppy right at the edge of that pod. Going to try to move it back up again. The throttle control keeps it steady at the top. Now back down and back up. Just seesaw full control of this Grave Digger truck. Gets it right down and then now back on one tire to another. And Weston Anderson with a wheelie combo moving. Look at Grave Digger just going over up on the pod and then down. Another rollover, another spectacular ending. Take a look at the super glue glued to the action replay. 9.559 is the score. There's your new leader. Comes right off the pod into a wheelie and goes right back up and then just sends the black and green wrecking machine flying on the other side of the track. What a great run for Weston Anderson. Next up, Armando Castro, El Toro Loco, second on this series and wins in this competition. And he goes right into a slow, stoppy moonwalk combo and just doesn't have enough to edge it back out. So still a great combo move. And then again, coming off the pot into another stoppy, into another moonwalk. And now this is what we were waiting for on that first attempt. The slow control push to the back end of that pod. The front nose and mouth of that truck just getting crushed and then stopping on a dime back into a nose wheelie. Armando Castro, unbelievable. He is so good at this competition as we take a look at the super glue glued to the action replay. 8.617, not quite enough to take the lead, but the slow control moonwalk back on the pod, getting the fans out of their seats here in Little Rock. Next up, Cody Saucier in Dragon fell short of the racing win, but look at that body shredding off. Gets a sky wheelie, wheelie combo, some finesse. And then second attempt. Now great look at the inside, the inner workings of that Dragon truck. Comes off into a reverse stoppy, and another wheelie combo tries for a popper on the backside. 6.951 is the score for Dragon. Our final competitor, Zach Garter in Wildside, coming off his big racing win. Going to try for a reverse popper. Gets a stoppy instead into a wheelie. Goes across the pod. And now there is your stoppy. And there is the nose wheelie. Going to edge it out. Flips it over to the other side. And now a bicycle on attempt number two. So a lot of great moves there from Zach Gardner. 7.762. Not enough to take the lead. That means the winner of the Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge, Weston Anderson in Gravedigger.
Weston, this is Great Clips Two Wheel Skills Challenge win number eight for you. How do you feel taking that win? Oh, I feel great. You know, this crowd is electric. It has been the loudest crowd yet. And I'm so glad I could get that win in front of you guys. Come on, Little Rock. You wanna, let's try something real quick. When I say grave, you say digger. Grave! Grave! Well, we can't stop now because we still have two more competitions left in the game. We've got one of maybe your favorites coming up next, the donut competition. What is your strategy to keep up the momentum? You know, everybody come out, comes out here and does the same boring donut. They all turn to the left. A few of them do throw the steering wheel out the window. That's pretty cool. But I'm going to come out here. I'm going to try to turn to the right, and it makes the truck go so much faster. I was trying to set a world record yesterday in the donut competition. I got about 10 revolutions in and flipped over wide open. It was crazy. I'm going to bring that to today. I'm going to try and break that world record today again. He's the wildest Anderson and your Great Clips Two Wheel Skills winner. Make some noise for Weston Anderson in a Grave Digger. Come on, get loud. Thank you, Keaton. The crowd absolutely eating out of the palm of Weston Anderson's hand as we take a look at our BKT overall point standings after two. Zach Gardner still with the lead. He's got 13. Cody Sosie with 11. Armando Castro, Weston Anderson tied at 10. Brianna Mahan with nine. Next up in Little Rock, the donut competition. Fans in attendance once again judging based on momentum, skill, execution, and number of revolutions. And Chad Tingler doesn't get anything done in Stone Crusher. He goes over. That could be a sign of the dirt here in Little Rock just running up and not being able to get any traction. Next up, Cody Saucier and Dragon. This is what you're looking for. Gets that low center of gravity for the back end of the truck. Gets it up on three wheels. Trying to get two here. Keeps the wheels moving. 8.346. Amazing donut from Cody Saucier. Next up out of Florida, Shane Freed in the hook, getting the hook right into a great position, whipping the back end of that truck around, dirt flying up everywhere. Great center donut, 8.493. Wow, your new leader here at Donut, Shane Freed and hooked. Up next, Armando Castro and El Toro Loco. Gets a crazy bull going now, coming around. Count the revolutions. That's three, four, five. And he's got it now up on two wheels. So a cyclone, a little break dance ending. And now another new leader, 8.850 for Armando Castro. Zach Garter in wild side now trying to get the donut lead. He won racing earlier tonight, trying to get it done here to take two out of three. Wild side now back in. Powerful donut here. 7.182, not going to be enough to take the lead, but Zach Gardner out of the truck anyway. Fans letting him hear it here in Little Rock. Let's see if he can back it up. Weston Anderson talks a big game. He can usually back it up, and he's doing it right here. Those Dennis Anderson donuts coming off to the other side. Look at the tires. Look at the wheels. Break dance on the backside. 9.506. Weston Anderson takes the lead in Gravedigger. John Zimmer Jr. now tough act to follow here. He comes in terminal velocity. Another second generation driver. His daddy, former Grave Digger driver as well, John Zimmer. And he gets those donuts going 7.327 for terminal velocity. Brianna Mahan in whiplash, final competitor. She's got a chance here to take this competition as the back body part of that truck is now completely gone, and she is slinging whiplash. The Princess of Carnage throwing one down in Arkansas. 9.368, so close, but not enough to take the lead. And he did exactly what he said he was going to do, the donut competition winner, Weston Anderson. Wild, wild west. Weston Anderson is your winner of the donut competition. We see that approach angle. We see you stick that steering wheel out the window. What's going through your mind? You started off slow with the racing. Do a brick there. Now you're heating up. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling great. You know what's next? It is my favorite. And I know it is all you guys' favorite. Next up is freestyle. Points are super close right now. So I have to absolutely throw down and try and get that number one spot. Hopefully I can keep up this momentum on this tour. Hopefully I can get the automatic bid into World Finals. So now you mentioned it, we're going into freestyle. What can the fans expect from Wild Wild West? You know, man, expect the unexpected. Last weekend I did a 
moonwalk into a corkscrew. You never know what to expect whenever that Gravedigger truck comes out here on the floor. I can promise you guys this. As long as I can keep it on all four, you are going to be on your feet by the end of my run. And I stand by that. Y'all heard it first right here. Make some noise. Your winner of the donut competition, Weston Anderson driving Gravedigger. Very confident rookie phenom, Weston Anderson, with his donut competition win. Now slides up to the top of the BKT overall point standings. He's got 18 points. Armando Castro, Brianna Mahan with 16 apiece. Zach Garner, Cody Sosie with 15. John Zimmer Jr. with 10. Shane Freed, 8. And Chad Tingler with 5. One more competition remains. It is freestyle. Our drivers have to get the first 15 seconds of their run in order to qualify for a score. And fans once again judging in attendance. They want to see our drivers hit all obstacles on the pod. Filled the clock and throw in some wow moments. And up first, Chad Tingler in Stone Crusher. Another former Grave Digger driver, Chad Tingler, been around the sport for over 20 years, seen it all, done it all, as he comes off the double log stack with a sky wheelie wheelie combo. And as I'm cross threading across the pod, pieces of the body flying everywhere again on the double log stack. Little brake check, sky wheelie off the side of the pod. Take a look at the super glue. Glue to the action replay. Chad Tingler with the nice air 5.733. Doesn't quite clear the pod. Got a great bounce. Next up, Shane Freed in hooked. Shane Freed running for Steve Sims. Monster Trucks Unlimited out of Virginia Beach, Virginia. Teammates to Chad Tingler. Get some nice air slap wheelie on the combo move. Sometimes you don't want to clear the pod. You want to throw in a combo. That's just what Shane Free did. Veteran move. And now into a donut. So a little shade throwback to the donut competition as Hook gets a donut right in there and then comes right back onto the pod. Another wheelie combo on the back side of the jump. So Shane Freed filling the clock, getting it done. 6.755, your new leader is hooked as we take a look at the super glue glued to the action replay. Next up in freestyle, Cody Sosie in Dragon. Vertical Sky Wheelie off the double log stack. And then look at the brake check jump on the pod. Just, just misses clearing it. Comes off again with another brake check. There's a slap wheelie combo. Doesn't lose any momentum, spinning drag it back around, whips the truck over the pod. Look at the sky wheelie, just clearing the left side of that pod on the far end of the track. And Cody Sosie trying to throw some cross threading into the run. That's how you get the fans on your seats. That's how you get the scores. And the donut right at the edge of that pod. So Cody Sosie with a great run. Take a look at Super Glue Glue to the action replay. Cody Sosie right here gets a 7.761. Comes right down on the sway bar on the side of the pod. And Cody Sosie, the new leader here in freestyle. Next up, Armando Castro in the crazy bull, El Toro Loco. Armando tonight trying to make a run for the event championship. He's got to take out Weston Anderson and Gravedigger. Big time Sky Wheelie, look at the nose and the mouth of the crazy bull flying off the truck. Just misses the double log stack, comes right off to the left into a stop. He tried to get a moonwalk, nothing there. Wheels up to our local back around. There's a vertical Sky Wheelie break check, gets the nose down, great bounce, and continues the momentum. And now coming off the log stack again, some finesse on the landing into a stoppy and some crab walk action. El Toro Loco back again. Beautiful angle of the truck up at about 45 degrees as we take a look at the super glue glue to the action replay. Armando Castro letting it fly, 8.678. That is good enough to take the lead. Next up out of Fortville, Indiana, Zach Garner in wild side. He's had to compete on the Central Series all season, now coming over to the East and getting it done here in Little Rock. Has won freestyle competitions in both stadium events and arenas as well, so this kid can do it anywhere. Brake check jump, you see the flames coming out of the exhaust. Right up over the double log stack, a little whip action sends it off to the side. And Zach Garner staying low, trying to keep his momentum into a stoppy. 
And that will do it for Wildside. Take a look at the super glue glued to the action replay as Wildside comes off the jump, lands it perfectly, 7.284. Next up, John Zimmer Jr. in terminal velocity. Comes off with some nice air, gets a wheelie combo. It's all in the bounce on the landings. These drivers time these landings out. You can get a slap wheelie or a wheelie combo based on where you land the truck, and you have a split second to shift into gear and get to your next maneuver. And John Zimmer Jr., even though he is in his rookie season, has all the makings in the world to be a superstar in Monster Jam, and he's showing you why we're right here. Another wheelie on the backside of the jump. Combo after combo, and then over to the log stack. Oh, he's going to go over here, and he had a chance to save it, but just not enough. Didn't get two wheels as we take a look at the super glue glued to the action replay. John Zimmer Jr. in terminal velocity just catches the back two BKTs on the edge of the pod, goes over. And if he could have just got that right back rear tire on there, he would have been able to save it. Weston Anderson in Gravedigger. Now it's his turn trying to win the event championship here tonight as the series points leader brings the black and green wrecking machine out with a vengeance onto that pod. Brake check, skies the truck. And into a stoppy, he hit the brakes. Perfect timing on the center pod, then accelerates, gets the stoppy. Now into a nose wheelie, showing off. And the fans out of their seats, and they are going nuts for Weston Anderson. He flips it back into a wheelie. Tried to turn the truck around, not quite there, but spectacular nonetheless. Trying to get a whip going. Weston Anderson loves whipping that Grave Digger truck up over the pod. There's one right there. Brake check right over the tire stack. And now a donut for good measure. The exclamation point on a wild freestyle run from Wild Wild Weston Anderson. As we take a look at the super glue glued to the action replay, there is the big air, the ragged edge throttle rhythm. 9.431. Currently, your leader, Weston Anderson. And it's up to Brianna Mahan, the princess of car in Whiplash to try to take the freestyle win. Every one of the jumps that Brianna Mahan makes on a freestyle track, whether it's a stadium event or arena event, is bigger than the last. She gets huge air almost every time out of the box. And now she's got some rhythm. She sends Whiplash over the back two catch, but she saves it. And there is a beautiful textbook sky wheelie. Pogo bounce on the landing. Off the log stack again, beautiful angle of the truck nearly at 90 degrees. She gets another sky wheelie, but the finesse on the back two tires gets a wheelie combo as we take a look at the super glue glue to the action replay. 8.982, not quite enough to take the lead. That means Weston Anderson wins freestyle as we take a look at our final BKT overall point standings here in Little Rock. Weston Anderson getting it done. He takes three out of four and 26 points gets in the overall event championship. Let's check back in downstairs. Freddie B is with our event champion, Grave Diggers, Weston Anderson. All I gotta say is you guys have been nothing but good to me this weekend. This is two for two for me. And I hope I come back here for many years to come. Little Rock, you have to get used to saying Wild Wild West because he came out and showed you he's the wildest Anderson Weston. You come out here, you come out full throttle, pedal to the metal, nonstop and freestyle. Talk about what's going on in that truck and what's just happening in your mind. And you're like sweaty and it's a lot going on. Oh, man. I'll tell you, it is hot out there in that Arkansas weather. But hey, I got knocked out first round of race and I messed up in my second turn. That does nothing but make me mad. So then I come out here and I know I have to throw down in this Gravedigger truck to keep you fans proud. And more important, to keep my dad proud. I've been keeping this in my hand for the past two days and I hope it stays that way. So I get home and I better get a big old hug from Mr. Dennis himself. Little Rock, make some noise for your overall event winner today. He goes by the name of Wild Wild West, a.k.a. Weston Anderson Driving Grave Digger. Come on, Arkansas, get loud one more time for me.
No doubt Dennis Anderson back home at Kill Devil Hills beaming with pride. Follow us on social media at Monster Jam. Use the hashtag Monster Jam on all your posts and stay on top of all the point series going on throughout the league at MonsterJam.com. For everybody at Feld Entertainment, my co-host Keaton Stewart and Freddie B. Good night from Little Rock. I'm Scott Jordan. We'll see you next time on Monster Jam.